My name is Nakinja Shanice White. I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana. And what don't I do? No. <laughs> I'm an artist slash animator. any like soul searching about it but I really do think that where you're from influences your work. Shreveport's uh, I in my head it's small but compared to the rest of Louisiana it's kind of big but we still have that country charm that very just we're very southern and so I feel like my work reflects that if you see what I'm drawing it's a lot of black people they all have like round faces very colorful so I feel like it reflects the south. When I wasn't outside, just playing around with the dogs, I was drawing. I did have a lonely childhood. <laughs> Not to be dramatic, but I am a bit weird. And then in the elementary school that I grew up in, I wasn't necessarily charismatic yet. So I was weird, but also didn't necessarily know how to talk to people. And so art was kind of an escape. Art has always been something that I've been drawn to. It was the one thing that I was good at, that I loved doing no matter what. It's just something that I feel like was a part of me. And I remember that the Witch Comics was probably the first like graphic novel that I owned myself. But those like girly comics, it was like these girls who just had friendship and they used their powers. That always resonated with me. So Witch and that helped me develop my style because I love those books. I only like to do 2D. <laughs> I just feel like since I have a drawing background, 2D allows me to inject more of myself than 3D. And to be honest, I get confused with my X and Y and Z. When I do a comic, it's, a, it's moving and then I'll freeze frame it and that's when I draw it. And it hit me and I was like, okay, if I think in motion, I could also do animation. I consider my personal style, drawing and animating, to be very, very similar because, again, I'm influenced heavily by drawing, but if I had to sum it up in two words, it would be colorful and round. <laughs> I draw a lot of people. That's kind of my thing. I like to draw people, different kinds of people. I'm very expressive as a person, so I tend to draw expressive characters. When it comes to Japanese anime or just honestly some western cartoons how black people are depicted they're always almost always the villain or there's some kind of like stereotypical like humor character and it always falls back in my mind it always like evokes these minstrel show characters so in the end of the day people treating us as like these minstrel shows using us as comic relief but not caring about who we are and giving our characters character it's offensive and i plan on changing that I just want my work, it's kind of, well one, I definitely want to put black people out there but not necessarily in just this box that we already have. I want to expand because I feel like we belong everywhere, we deserve to be everywhere. And so I'm really into fantasy and just the supernatural, so I like to inject black people into that, not so much as like, oh, like this black person is a monster, but just like, just these cool black characters that can be anything and we're not just this friend in this, some kind of apartment struggling to stay alive. And I just want to have this polish and this freshness and just inject a little bit of black beauty into the world. 